In this video, we're going to talk about the tail recursion and the no tail recursion in the C programming language, and we're going to explain the difference between the two. So if you're not familiar with this term, this video is perfect for you. Anyways, if you look on my screen, I have two programs. One is named as the tail recursion.c and the other as no tail recursion.c. And let me just do this one thing. Let me open up another panel and let me pass on this program to here. And let me put it alongside the first one. So let's see if you can find the difference between the recursive function of this one and this one apart from that these are solution to two different problems. I mean one is for finding the greatest common divisor and the other is for finding the factorial of a particular integer value. So if not then tail recursion is a specific recursive function in which the return statement does not contain any other computation other than the function call to itself. As you can see in this program the return statement only contains the function call and no other variables whereas in no tail recursion the return statement can have other computation or other variables apart from the function call to itself. So that is why this makes it no tail recursion and this makes it tail recursion. And there are no other differences between the two apart from these. No, both of them work in the same way. They both work on the concept of stacking and they both get the accurate results. But it's just a matter of approach. Anyways, if I run these programs for the greatest common divisor, we get the greatest common divisor between the value 10 and 4 as 2. And for the factorial of 10, we get this value. So that was it for the tail recursion and the no tail recursion in the C programming language. And I hope that a difference is clear to you now.